haven't done a food tour in a really long time and we've woken up feeling really hungry. We're in Sofia in Bulgaria, so you know what that means. It is time for a Bulgarian food tour. Oh, that is really warm. All of the food has just arrived. I'm salivating. Oh. We're Sarah and Marek, amateur backpackers who somehow managed to travel around Europe for a whole year for under $10,000. From working on sailboats to hitchhiking across three countries, our budget travels have been anything but boring. We're about to start a trip through the infamous Balkans, eight countries in six weeks. Can we do it? Subscribe to find out. I don't know what's happening here. There's water coming out of a whole bunch of springs perhaps. It's steaming, so it seems like it's warm. And there's a whole bunch of people here, locals, filling up their bottles. I don't really know what it is, but it's pretty cool. I mean, we've got a bottle, so should we taste some of the water? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, that is really warm. Really what I'm gonna say is like nothing amazing or crazy. It kind of feels like I'm in a bath. I can take me back to being in a bath as a kid and like tasting the water in the bath. No. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's warm. I don't know. Yeah. Drinking water out of the kettle. Eh? It doesn't taste anything crazy, eh? It tastes like warm water. Warm water, yeah. Oh. I love moments like that in travel where you stumble across something you really weren't expecting, and I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's not like mind blowing what was happening there, but it just feels like we discovered something, we saw something that. Maybe not everyone that visits Sofia gets to see. And right across the street, you get this beautiful, beautiful building. From the research that we did, it suggested that the best place to withdraw money here in Bulgaria is at any Bulgarian bank, just like the one we're at now. But what we are doing today is giving ourselves a budget and we're giving ourselves a budget of exactly 50 Bulgarian lev to cover food, transport, drinks, whatever. We have 50 Bulgarian lev for the entire day and we've just found the perfect place to spend our very first lev. Welcome to the Sofia Central Market Hall. This place is really fancy. Bulgarian breakfast called banitsa. It's a flaky pastry filled with cheese, eggs, and butter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what sound does this came out here? I'd go as far as to say this is the best pastry I've tasted on a whole Balkan strip so far. Super flaky, it just sort of falls apart as you bite into it. Then it just hits you with the rich flavor. Wow, that is so nice. Mm, very flaky, but also pretty oily, so it's not too dry. It's nice and moist. The cheese, the richness, it's just like bang, 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 flavor town. <laughs> I feel like I'm being a bit traumatic. <laughs> no, it's that good. I think it's that good. <laughs> That's a good start to the Bulgarian food tour. I'll tell you what. I get the feeling that this market is not quite at its former glory. There are a lot of shut down and empty shops. We don't know if that's because it's the low season or if they're permanently shut down, but we're not really getting many food options. So we're gonna move on to the next spot. I 
can't even explain the full scale of the size of these buildings. They are huge. We don't know what buildings they are, but they look very big, very powerful, and very impressive. Like, look at the size of these archways. sightseeing today so we decided to come and see what we think is the most impressive building in the whole city. Come with me. How crazy is this? Beautiful. So the Saint Alexander Nevsky Patriarch's Cathedral is one of the biggest Orthodox churches in the entire world and the top of the bell tower there stands at 50 and a half meters high but i mean all stats aside this place is seriously impressive we don't know if sofia is the capital of big buildings but they are just everywhere and they're so impressive it's a bit sad that we don't know what we're looking at most of the time yes my complaint is that it is 20 past one and we've eaten one measly pastry and I know I ate most of it, but it's still <laughs> just one little pastry. Can we please go and get more food? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, but that's enough sightseeing. That's enough walking around without food. We are going <laughs> to find more food now. Now, when we arrived last night, I typed into Google cheap traditional Bulgarian food. And this first restaurant that came up is the one that we're going to right now. And that is a restaurant we're hoping to taste most of the food that we're wanting to eat today. So if you clicked onto this video and you're wondering where the food is, just wait. It's coming up. <laughs> Metro just because of how beautiful it is down there. Yay! <laughs> we have made it to the restaurant. It is time to get to the moment we have all been waiting for and try some Bulgarian food. well worth the wait so far this restaurant is so authentic the decoration is incredible and i kind of feel like i've been transported back in time check out the size of these menus this is these are just my menus there's so much on offer here it's crazy but we haven't tasted the food yet that's on its way all of the food has just arrived. I'm salivating. But let's start with this one. This is Tarator. It's a soup that has cucumber, dill, garlic, walnuts, yogurt. It's a traditional summer soup and people generally use it to cool off in the hot summer months. But luckily we found it even in winter. Wow, that is really refreshing. So if you like, Ayuran, which is a yogurty, salty yogurty drink that we've really grown to enjoy since traveling through Armenia, Turkey. I think you'll really enjoy this. It's kind of like that as the base, but a little bit less salty. And then you've got all these fresh herbs and like crunchy flavor coming in as well. And that's really good. Our next dish is something very traditional and all the people said you have to try it. It's something called parlenka. This is basically grilled bread and it's been brushed with a garlic sauce. It smells. Oh. Ooh. It's very light. There's little air pockets inside. You're getting the brushed garlic and the salt. It's a very rich but delicious piece of bread. This is really nice. Next up we have kufta. I've never seen kufta served like this before and I've never seen a kufta this big. It's humongous. Usually they're like little meatballs. But this is like a giant kufta ball, meatball, patty thing. Whoa. There's just so much 
flavor and lightly salty and mm, just yumminess dancing all over my tongue right now. It's just a smell of barbecue sauce and grilled meat. I don't even know if there's barbecue sauce in it, but it just smells like that. It is it smells in this place. It's just incredible. Oh, get in on that. <laughs> get in on that. Can you see it properly? Watch this. Oh, all the juiciness. Oh my goodness. I'm like treating right now. The best. The best. Kifta I've ever tasted. My last dish. And this is one that I'm the most excited for. Forgive me, I can't remember the Bulgarian name, but I know that it is a roasted and stewed pork knuckle served in a clay dish with mushrooms and a little bit of melted cheese on top. The smell's coming off this one so far. Wins hands down. There's some of the pork. Mushroom cheese. This is a really big one. A really big one. <laughs> I have never tasted anything so flavorful before. Ever. Ever. The saltiness of the cheese with a little bit of the roast pork knuckle. And there's a garlic in the sauce and the mushrooms and the cheese is getting off just a little bit of oil as well. Oh. My goodness. I've tasted it and I'm still dreaming. I could honestly eat that for every meal, breakfast, lunch, supper, every single day for the rest of my life. Big claim, <laughs> but it's true. food was incredible and what I loved my favorite part about that whole meal was the fact that we weren't just going to a restaurant the whole thing was and such an experience from the decor to the food to the people it just it was such a nice atmosphere in there and on top of it all every evening between 8 and 12 they play mm. traditional Bulgarian music live like how much better does it get than that? But we were actually on the way to the train station to figure out our transport for tomorrow, which actually means that that brings our time in Sofia to an end. But what can we say about Sofia? It has got beautiful buildings and architecture, the biggest buildings that I've ever seen before. But unfortunately, because we didn't have internet, we didn't know what we were looking at most of the time. So if you do yeah. come here, we can highly recommend that you definitely go on one of those free walking tours that will give you the best tour of the city. But thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Before we forget, we managed to spend just under 50 Bulgarian lips, so we are very happy about that. Just enough left to maybe go and get an ice cream later. <laughs> but seriously, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Raise your arms or something. <laughs> But it's flaky, it's oily, it's nice and moist up in your mouth. <laughs> what? Moist up in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> go, Bumbi, go, you nearly got it. A <laughs> little bit more of a stretch, go. You're nearly there. <laughs> nearly. On your tippy toes, on your tippy toes. You're messing with me. <laughs> you weren't even close. <laughs>